Greetings and welcome to Foundation. I'm Catherine of Sky and a huge, huge, huge thank you to the developers for um, sponsoring three videos. Thank you so very much. Those These sponsorships really keep the channel going and um, I, uh, I, I highly, highly encourage you to check out this game. There's a link in the description below. And um, because this game, I actually played this game way, way, way back in early access, right after the Kickstarter. And since then, it, it's just grown and grown over the years. And it's a really fun game. So let's go ahead and start a brand new game here. I want to choose a fluvial. We have new procedural maps, or we can use the original maps here. Um, actually, let's do, do the original map, the fluvial one. This is a uh, river, obviously. So let's try this one. And no mods, we're just going to go vanilla here. But over the years, they have added so much to this game. It is just crazy cool. A new beginning. After a long journey throughout the realm, your people finally reach new lands. Your lands. Territories you were asked to settle for reasons of your own. Your villagers await your command. They're eager to adver advise your first steps if you require so. I'm just going to leave this on. Um, or maybe I should just turn it off. Actually, let's just advice. Who needs advice? Haha. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pause the game while we choose a territory. Now, we could choose one near one of these islands and keep an island for maybe a monastery or a fortress or something like that. That could be fun. Um, let's see. We want to choose one. It, the starting locations are picked out for us because they have all of the needs that you need to start with. Like you need trees, rocks, and berries to start. This is kind of nice over here because it is, oh, look at this one close to these, uh, oh, those are tasty mountains over there. I think I want to start over here because getting to these mountains with their resources is a good, good thing. If we go down this way, we could have access to the water and go fishing a bit. Let's go ahead and go here. Let's purchase this territory. All right, and we have mineral deposits over there. That's exciting. Um, we're going to go ahead and start out with our village center. I'll just put that like over here. It doesn't really matter where it is. It's just a very temporary kind of thing. And then we have all of these buildings. Now, I advise you to go through the tutorial because it shows you what you should do first in these cases and which buildings you absolutely need first. Now, one of those is the lumber camp. Now, this lumber camp can serve literally the entire map, um, but I want to put it in a place that's uh, going to be a good spot to farm. So let's put it in the middle of this grove of trees here. Uh, let's build that. Yep. And... We also, very importantly, need to build the Builder's Hut. Where is the Builder's Hut? It is lo logistics. There it is. Builder's Workshop. This is like a Builder's Hut, basically. Whenever you play a game, these are the builders that help build everything. Um, so we're going to put three builders, assign them here. And then they're going to build the Forester's Hut. Then we need to build the Stone Worker's Camp out here stone cutters camp again um so these this aoe that you see this ring is actually desirability it is not the area of effect of like the stone this is what is going to affect the people so we're going to have some housing over here i think and then i want to put the stone thing kind of as far as we can it has to be within our territory but you also have to make sure you see those tiny green arrows not the cross one in the center but the light green arrows on this on the upper and bottom side there those have to be clear so that the people can get in and out of this building. Those arrows, these guys. Uh, so people can get in and out of this building. Um, otherwise, they get stuck. Okay, so that is essential. Now then, um, anything else I want to build? I think we're going we're gonna to get those built, and then I want to show you some other things. We're going to go ahead and get extraction, which is like cutting down trees and stuff. We're going to get that one put. Actually, we'll just extract the entire area. And then we want reforestation for this area. Uh, there we go. So I do want to build a forester. Let's just go back to the all section here. Let's see. Gathering hut, sawmill, forester's camp. There we go. Oh, okay. Let's So let's have them build the forester first. Or lumber camp first. And then we also need to 
build a food gathering hut. Let's put that over here. All right. Let's put that right there. Don't want to build it too close to stuff because people can get stuck and it's annoying when they do get stuck. All right. This is done. Let's hire three woodcutters. Excellent. And now we'll go ahead and put in our foresters camp so that the reforestation can, can commence. There we go. All right, and now we have new people. Let's hire them. Well, not hire them. They're, they want to live in our village, so let's let them live in our village. Why not? Um, let's see. The visit, the desirability is here. You can see that the stone cutting camp and the lumber's camp are really negative red. So we want to keep our housing away from that. So what we're going to do is we're going to build... I want to build a housing area. First of all, we need a well, and that well you can see gives us a huge area of good vibes. So we'll put that, we'll have one here and then maybe one over there. Let's just do two. I hope that, did it click? Yeah, it did, okay. It worked, but we do need this stone cutters camp first. Go ahead and hire some stone cutters. All right, we have one uh, unemployed villager. Actually, we'll put them here. I think we don't need quite as many stone cutters uh, yet we're gonna we're gonna need some later though but all the foragers we can for sure and the forester okay let's hire a forester well we don't have any foresters meow meow is real let's just take you off of there because I do want to start building this so when you get to producing way too much lumber, that's when you can like remove the extraction zone from here and just, you know, let it, let them cut other areas. Okay. I'm going to dismiss most of the, the tutorial tips and pop-ups because I have played extensively with this game and I know what's, you know, what's coming and what we need to do next. So do not fear. I shall not lead you astray. Okay, so now we also have the manor house and the church unlocked. Now, what we want to do first, though, I want to paint a residential zone. Let's go ahead and do this. And we can just kind of paint it out here. Um, and that should be decent, I think. You can also have a forbidden land zone. If you want to, like, have your manor house in a specific place where you don't want people to, um, you know... Uh, where you don't want people to build on that land. But in reality, you can re you can just delete the houses. It's not a big deal. All right, here we go. Well has been built. Excellent. So you can see people already starting to build houses here. Um, I think we should build a... We do need a church and we need the manor as well. We'll go ahead and build the church here. This is a really good spot. We just have very, very basic church pieces, but as you grow your settlement, you're going to get the chance to unlock more. Now, this church has to have a couple of component pieces, which is having a nave, which is the central part of a church, and it has to have a door, obviously. Here are the room requirements. Room, door, bell tower. So let's put the door here, and I want to have a bell tower maybe at the front, and you can adjust the height by clicking on this slider. Uh, be aware though that this costs more money uh, to make a thing, but it's nice to make a thing, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and not add uh, other pieces because they don't really give us stuff. All they do is add to the cost that you have to pay for maintenance, right? They do give you a little bit of capacity, like more, um, you know, you can fit more peasants in there for their religious services, but, um, it doesn't really add much. And I found that you want a few different churches because of getting the progression and stuff like that. So it's better to just build smaller and then later you can build parts that have a thing called splendor on them. Uh, and that's going to be really important a little bit later once we get things settled and sorted. So here I'm going to build my manor house. Um, and we're going to start with the function of the great hall. And that needs just a room and a door and an interactive location. Oh, wow. This place is already starting to fill up. We're going to... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to paint a forbidden land zone right at the corner here. And we're going to... Let's just delete this house. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, dudes. We're just going to paint some forbidden land over here. 
for our manor house. Uh, let's just right click that so they can do the trees and stuff. I still want them to do trees here, reforestation. I didn't realize it cuts off the other things because most other things don't do that. All right, so let's get this manor house built again. So we're gonna select a function. Okay, great hall uh, or not. Tax office. No, I want to build the great hall, please. And now it's not working. Okay, let's just destroy the whole thing and start over again. Sometimes it gets really strange here. So we're going to try this. We're going to do it again. It'll be fine. So, great hall. Let's go. You need the great hall to start off with. That's kind of important. So let's see where we can build this thing. That is having a really large yard over there. Getting just orientation. There we go. Okay, nice. It's very like Iron Age, uh, kind of into medieval, these housing plots and things like that. Uh, except, of course, Iron Age was a little bit more round in the yards and stuff. But yeah, it's kind of cool. All right, so we want to have what? We, wanna, we need a door and an interactive location. We'll go ahead and put the door... Uh, mm, let's put it on this side because we can fit it here. And our location can just be there. That's fine. Who cares? So we'll build this. Actually, we could go back and just say, oh, the tax office. Because we do want to have a tax office. That's kind of important, like really important. So we can turn this and chuck it on the side here. That can be our tax office. And they just need a room and worker capacity. That can be a kind of a small room, but not the tiniest room. I don't think you can have a gallery be the tax office. All right, and the treasury is really not needed because... All it does is it increases your stash of coins. And believe me, you're going to be lacking coins for like forever. It's going to be a struggle. It really will. Okay, let's look at our happiness. We're kind of unhappy with food and comfort and service. Uh, one of the things that we really want to build is a marketplace. So let's go ahead and build a market. We can put it, maybe we can put it here. Yeah, that seems okay. So let's do our function. Let's do the market stalls court. And we're just going to put in some market stalls. Now, the center arrow is where people come and look at the goods. So I think I'm going to have a long kind of like hallway-ish thing here where people can come and look at goods. Now, usually I'll do like uh, three food things. You can add more later. Okay, I'm just shift-clicking these, right? Okay, and that's all we have for now. Okay, there we go. So let's just build this. Yay. Okay, excellent. Um, so, all right, so they're building stuff and things. Now, the other thing we need to make sure of is we need to get some warehouses. That's really important. We can have a granary to take care of the... the um, uh, the berries. By the way, do not pay attention to the roads. They can go around stuff. I really need a granary right there, and that's where I'm going to have it. Now, let's build a warehouse uh, for the other stuff. So, oh, that's not the right warehouse. No! I want a warehouse. Did we not get a warehouse yet? Oh, I guess we don't have a warehouse. Okay, well, that's fun. Okay, a newcomer. Oh, yes. Come and join us. Let's go. Now, you got to be careful because you don't want too many people. Otherwise, you're not going to have um, enough uh, food to feed them. Okay, so they are looking at planks. We need actually to get a plank maker. So that is going to go into sawmill. Uh, let's put that kind of here, maybe. Or maybe closer to the berries. Let's put them next to the berries. Now this has like entrances on all sides. It's a bit crazy. Alright, get going, get going, let's go. Oh, granary's moving. That's great. I'll go ahead and put a priority on this one as well because it already has all the materials delivered. These are doing really well. I want to keep one person unemployed so they can work at the granary or at the sawmill. But we're already maxed on our wood, which is definitely not ideal. Okay, good. 
good because the granary and warehouses they will take in goods but they need to have a person working there to distribute the goods to take them both from the gathering spots as you can see they have a transporter so we're going to put at least one transporter this is going to be berries um and this is the way that you are going to be able to fulfill contracts and other things like you'll say, oh, we have three monks visiting. And by the way, they want 50 berries to take home because they're, you know, they're going on a long journey, whatever. And we need berries. They have to be in a warehouse. They cannot be just stored in the collection building like they had some here. But then they're dumping them over here. We have now 65 berries in stock here. It also allows these uh, buildings to build more than they normally would. So, yeah. Okay. Do we have, let's see, one of the things I want to look at is we want to get warehouses. Here it is. We need to pay 25 to unlock that. We have prosperity of two. Now, this is a really interesting thing that was a change for me because I haven't played the game in a very long time. But they have this really interesting, this is kind of like a tech tree where you earn the right to buy stuff, right? So common path is for basic everything, right? So we can get a bailiff office, that's important, and the bridge, also important. Let's get all of those. Now, labor is a thing that you have to specialize into, kingdom or clergy. Now, the devs asked me for this playthrough to specialize in clergy, so we're going to do just that. Uh, and we're going to have to earn influence points, um, an influence uh, cap uh, through building stuff that's nice and pretty and cool. Uh, via religious structures and such. Okay, there's another person. Hooray! Here, you can work here. How about that? Seems great. We're getting planks now. Hooray! Okay, so looking pretty good. Um, Alright, so our market stalls are finished. This is great. So we're going to assign a resource here. We're going to get berries and have one person working here. Uh, we need to go and actually grab a person because we have... Let's see, let's minus wood cutting, wood cutter, one wood cutter for now. And we're gonna go into the parts list to make sure that it's assigned to the correct market stall, right, with the berries. So that, that market tender is gonna go to the granary and pick up the berries. Really important that. Uh, it's kind of needed to have a granary for this stuff. Now we can also build a warehouse, which is what I've been waiting for. So we're going to build one warehouse over here. Notice the red area of influence. Not great stuff. We're going to have one here. And then I want to have one near the woodworking stuff. Maybe here if it's going to fit. Let's see. Warehouse. Yeah, I think that would fit there without too much trouble. Okay, very good. What is this? What is this symbol? What are we missing here? Transportation. Ah, the bridge. Yeah, all right. We haven't gotten there. Now, we can buy extra territories for 250 gold, but we're going to try not to because each territory we buy costs us money uh, in monthly uh, fees. So we want to kind of avoid that. Uh, we want to get the manor house up and running first, I think. Now, the other thing that we want to do is we want to see if we can open some trade routes. So let's see, we have uh, trade routes on the resources tab here and we have them. This is what we can buy and what we can sell. Now these people sell tools and that is going to be a massive thing for us. We are going to have to buy a lot of tools. So we want to open this trade route uh, that it requires us to have 20 planks, which we don't have, but we can also sell planks to them at some point. So I think what we should do is we're going to stockpile these planks to get that trade route open because we can't really do anything until we get those tools. It's really important we get those tools because this one requires eight tools. This thing requires another seven tools. That's 15 that we don't have. We only have three. Um, let's see. These are good. The warehouses don't require any, so that's excellent. But yeah, it's kind of rough. Um, the reason I have uh, put this on priority, this particular building, the manor house, is that we can, at some points, as we're serving our, our serfs uh, more and more materials and better foods and stuff and things, they are going to want to level up, right? And when they level up, they pay us more money. So that's pretty great. New advice. Okay, what do we got here? 
you ran out of tools. Okay, let's ask our neighbors. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do the buying tools quest here. Uh, okay, dismiss. Yep. But we need for them to... What are we doing again? Oh, we need the planks. Yep. We need to have 20 planks right now. Can we shove somebody from somewhere else? Probably. Actually, we can take the forester off for now. We just got to remember to put them back in. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and do more carpentering, please. In my test game, I ended up having two carpenter shops. But then I kind of only used one of them most of the time. So yeah, it was a bit of a waste to have two. There were times, though, when I needed the extra boost. All right, we're at three prosperity, which is doesn't sound like a lot, and it's not a lot. It's very small, but it's okay. It's just the very beginning. We don't have a lot of the things that we need. Uh, prosperity can be, it's, it's all of these things in the common path. Wealth, we have territory numbers, commerce, um, trade routes, basically population. Splendor is very important. And then beautification, which is like putting bushes and statues and stuff around. Um, but for, for the clergy path, the spl it only takes clergy splendor, which is like blue stars. Uh, that It doesn't take into account your regular splendor. So they're going to be really impressed when we build this church, uh, or at least somewhat impressed. We'll get a little bit higher on our cap, which is zero currently. Um, so that's going to be a good thing. All right. Uh, 20. Excellent. That means we can open the trade route. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Unlock trade route. There we go. Ah, that's great. Okay, so now we can go into our resources tab and go to the unlock the planks. We can actually sell. Let's sell above 20 planks. Okay. And then let's see. What else do we have here that we can we can buy the tools. Where the heck are the tools? Well, I, I have asked for like an alphabetical listing. I don't know why it's it's like, why is this this way? Very weird. Let's buy 10 tools, up to 10 tools. Um, what else do they buy? Let's see. They buy, let's see, wine, berries. I'm not going to sell any berries because those are food. Herbs. Um, I think herbs and polished stone. We're going to make those a little bit later. We can sell those herbs over like a hundred. I like to keep a hundred in stock for visiting dignitaries. They seem to like those a lot. Um, and then the other one was polished stone. Let's sell everything above 20. That is going to become a massive, massively needed commodity in our world. So yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get lumber camp folks up. And, ah, yes, let's put a transporter in here. Okay, this is going to be wood, and we're going to have pl uh, actually another wood and then planks, I think. Those are nice to go together. We might even have charcoal in here uh, because that's an, a resource that comes, oh, it comes way, way later, but it's nice to have a spot in your, uh, in your inventory for it. So let's see, this thing should be getting materials. We are missing the tools. But, uh, oh, that's a thing we need, actually. We need to have a warehouse that has tools in it. So we'll put them in here for now. Because if we don't have tools, the, uh, the courier or the, the trader will not be able to deliver any tools. Oh, there's our trader. Shoot. Okay, well, it's fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right, let's hire another person. I call it hiring, but basically they are pledging themselves to us unconditionally forever. No, they're just joining your village basically it's fine <laughs> anyway we have a good good amount of money right now we might consider um maybe we should buy another territory what do we want to do with our territory kind of partial to like maybe we go onto this island here there's a small island i would love to go onto that small island for a monastery or something like that but we're kind of in the beginning of the game right now where we just need to do stuff. Let's see, what are we lacking? We have those, we have those. I think we just, yeah, we just need the lumber camp to work, and then the sawmill is running out of lumber. We could build a second lumber camp, 
That is possible, though it costs five tools, which is not great. Wow, look at this. Already trying to build the church. That's nice. I think we... Yeah, they had half the tools over there, but... Okay, good, good, good. Alright, they are not getting any planks because they're all going over here, apparently. I don't know why this one got everything because it's not prioritized. That's really odd. Well, it's okay. I'll go ahead and prioritize it since it's coming along. I would rather have this one because that enables us to do taxes, which we kind of need to do because we're not getting any money in at all. But now that the main building is finished, they can actually go to, they have service now. Service is church service and it makes them happier to go. So now they're just going to build the bell tower uh, and they have almost everything. They just need a few planks left and then they're good. Now we do have a monthly budget report here. Um, as you see, we can click on this and this is our tax rate. Actually, I'll put this tax rate up a tiny bit. Um, but we can't actually con collect the taxes until we get people out there. Um, and we also want to promote these serfs as well to give us more taxes. I think this is like 7 tax per serf and then the next level is like 12. So it's, you know, 5 is like only 4 months to repay or 4 whatever weeks or I don't know how often the taxes are. A merchant is approaching our village. Hooray! Look at this. We already got 6 tools though. That's pretty great. It is pretty great. Okay, let's hire you. And we're going to get more tools up to 10. That's fantastic. They have everything they need for that building. That's great. Now, this one is also going to get completed because it only needs 8. So we'll see what they do. Hopefully it will be completed fairly quickly here. I really like this game because, like, each building... Now, you can't really see it, like, in the very beginning of the game. But later, you're going to get so many decorative elements for these churches and monasteries and stuff like that. It's really fun to design stuff. Wood for the elders. The elders are looking to repair a few bridges across the region. One of their merchants noticed your woodcutter camps and wants to make you an offer. Ooh, look at this. Okay, so 100 wood... And we, for in 15 days, we, I think we can do 100 wood. Um, we get 10 labor coins and we get 100 money. That sounds amazing. Um, I don't like these because these have very low uh, outcomes, good outcomes. All right, so we're going to stop this. We're going to go ahead and stockpile the wood. And that's going to enable it to collect in these places. And what you need to do is when you have it, you got to click this. It will not automatically complete. You have to click the thing. So we're just going to wait until we get 100 wood. And that's uh, that's there. No, it's not there. Uh, it's, uh, er, I thought <laughs> I was looking on the on the on success thing, but we have 92 currently in stock. Um, so this is hopefully going to going to get there soon. We got woodcutters chopping every, everywhere. Sometimes it is good to have two woodcutters huts. Um, so yeah, let's see. 100. All right, click it. Make sure you click it. There you go. You get your 100 money. Money is a, a task in this game. It really is. Churches of the faith. Words of your villagers. First church have reached the clergy. They appreciate your dedication to the faith and thus hold you in higher regard. We are pious servants of the faith. Okay, so we got 10 coins. But the problem is we don't have the influence cap to keep them. So what's going to happen, since our cap is at zero, these coins are going to go away. They're going to leave, disappear. So what we want to do is buy stuff ASAP, right? Well, we can't actually buy anything, can we? These require coins and these don't. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get Rustic Church Splendor and a Monastery, right? The Rustic Church Splendor is going to be really nice because we can um, improve this church with Splendor items, right? We get a wooden gate or a stone gate, and then we can get a different bell tower uh, and a cross decoration. Let's put a cross decoration on there. That's going to be some Splendor. We can also, like, say we want to remove this door here. The Humble Gate. Okay, destroy that. Yes, thank you. And then we're going to build a stone gate instead. That looks much nicer. And it's going to give us one splendor. 
Uh, we want to get... I think we can get a stone bell tower here as well. Maybe we... Oh, actually, we could put it like that. That could be cool looking, couldn't it? Yeah, that's interesting. Um, we could get another gate at the back or at the side, maybe? We can do, like, one here. Can we do this like that somehow? Do that one. Looks a little bit funky, but that's okay. It's adding to our splendor. It's going to add four splendor, which is kind of good. It's kind of great. It's really good. So uh, let's go ahead and build this. And yay, that's going to be a good thing. But this, I want this to come next, guys. Build this thing. Build the manor house, please. So let's see. Are we getting berries in here? Yeah, we're having berries. Great. That's what we want. Okay, what else can we do? We can build... What did we get? What building did we get? Ah, the monastery. Yeah, do we want to build it on the island? Maybe, I guess we could. Uh, it's going to be expensive to get there because it's like 250 here, then another 250 to get here, and then the bridge cost. We could just build a monastery out here or maybe in here. That might be nice. Also, let's see what we can do out here. We can get the Manor House Splendor Package. That's nice. And the Market one. Oh, tasty. Let's get those two. Now, note that these cost money. Now, the hedge doesn't give you anything. It's basically a wall that looks like a hedge. Um, but it doesn't give you any Splendor Points or anything. So I'm going to keep my 25 coins. Uh, we can also get the Fort here and the Stake Wall. Um, and that's all we can get right now. We really need to get the, uh, clergy rating up in order to get any of the other fun stuff. Okay, so here we have the fort, and then we have our stake wall gate. I don't know why I got that one. Oh, that came with the fort. Of course it did. Okay, warehouse built. That's this one. Let's open this up for, uh, stone and polished stone. And actually, we're going to put the tools here. So I'm going to take the tools out of this one. Let's remove them. Just right-click it. Uh, if you right-click it, then I don't think they go anywhere. I think they... Oh, or maybe they did. I don't know. Um, that's weird. Why did it say 3 and we had 12? Before, it never used to delete them. Anyway, uh, we do want to get a forester back because this area is becoming quite bare. Uh, so that's that's a good thing. That's a very good thing. How are we progressing on the manor house? We are actually getting... We got one plank. Yay! Uh, did we... Oh, wood is stockpiled. That's why it's not doing anything. Whoops. Okay, I forgot to turn that down. That's my bad. Okay, let's go ahead and assign more berries. So we have a little bit more capacity for that. That's a good thing. There we go. That's going to give us more stuff and things. Thank goodness. Good, good, good. But yeah, this is this is going to be pretty great. Um, now we can't even buy a territory. We really need to get this manor house thing done because otherwise we can't tax people. That is where the annoying bits are. Ah, we now have beautiful decorations that we can also put on the manor house as well. Uh, but we're going to have to wait till it gets built because we can't, we can't really see what it looks like <laughs> until it gets built. I would love, like, when you click on it to have the full, like, shadow or ghost of the thing here. That would be really nice. It's so weird because it's like, yo, people. Let's see, select a mandate. Ooh, can, we, we can actually promote people. Ooh. Let's just do that. Let's promote some people, the happy people, to a higher status of life. Okay, and then they're going to give us more tax money. See, four commoners are 16 a month right now. We're going to raise the taxes here to 36 a month. That's pretty okay. Actually, let's raise it a little bit higher. Um, but I don't know if we have any tax collectors. If we right-click this, we can see how much is owing on each house. Um, so once we build the tax collector, then we'll be able to get this stuff going. So how is this going? Is this okay? Okay. 
No workers assigned. Okay. Hopefully they'll build stuff because I'm I'm just like, well, is it too close to the other build? I don't think it's too close to anything. I think it should be just fine. But yeah, we can actually... Can we hire somebody yet? No, we cannot. Not yet. Okay, here we're getting... Actually, they're building a house. I don't want you to build the house, people. I want you to build this thing. We have one plank. Here we have 13. I'm hoping they're going to build this. I'm going to destroy this house for a minute. I'm just going to... Oh, I wonder if it's because it's forbidden. Ah, that's my bad. Okay, let's leave that there. I should have just... There, I bet that's what it was. It's in Forbidden Lands. So I think they were not allowed to come and deliver materials. I don't know how that one thingy got there, but now we're going to get this going. There we go. It's getting materials now. So, um, yeah, what I should have done there is just erased the residential area. That's what I should have done is take that off instead of making it forbidden because that was the wrong... Uh, really the wrong command. Oh, look at our church. This is great. So now we have, oh, it's almost done. It's not quite done yet. Just needs a little bit more. Then we're going to get more splendor. Actually, if I prioritize this, let's just do a priority on that. This can sort of wait. Because we have those eight coins to spend... If we get that up, that would be amazing. There it goes. There it goes. Wow, our weekly attendance. We're actually half filling this church. This is pretty cool. Okay, bringing one tools. They have all the planks they need. They are getting everything else. This is good. Look at this. This is great. Happy days. And look at this. This is this is the funkiest, coolest thing ever. You can ring the bells. And then you can change the bell's pitch uh, on different bell towers. Is this not great? See? You can change it to C, E, G, A, or C2. Come on. Ring. Go. What if we did an A? <laughs> that is pretty cool. And change the tempo as well. Like, this is cool, man. I have never played a game where you can change the ringing of the church bells. This is awesome. Like, really, really darn cool. So, anyway, I hope you like that as much as I do. I'm really into church bells. I like them very much. Okay, so they're going to get the rest of this going. They've already delivered a lot of the materials. We even have them in stock, which is perfect. Okay, so I wonder if we can hire a bailiff yet. Did we build a bailiff's office? Or is that the Great Hall? I think it... Oh, no, we need to build a bailiff's office. Oh, no! House functions for your monument. Let's see, what does a bailiff's office require? One room and one door. I wonder if this counts as a room. It might, but we need to get the rest of the thing finished because I don't, we don't know where the rest of the building is. I think it's on this side and then there should be a doorway there, but I want them to finish it before I do anything else. Okay. Look at this. Now we're up to four splendor. Ah, we need five. No, <laughs> shoot. I guess I could try to, let's edit the building and add something else. Maybe another cross. Yeah, we'll put one cross over there. Oh, build. Oh, no. It's 25 monies and I don't have it. Oh, no. All right. Our only choice is to finish this building pronto, people. Let's go. We have all the materials. Thank goodness we have all the materials because otherwise we would have been toast. Just slightly toast. Though we are selling planks uh, if we get enough of them. And that would have generated a little bit more money. So right now we're at minus one. This is not good. Very not good. Okay. Remember how I told you that 100 gold was really important? Yeah, it was. Definitely was. Okay. Here we are. Okay. 
Come on. Come on over. Let's go. All right, let's hire this new person. Keep a watch on your food amounts, though. If it starts going down, you might be in trouble because, like, we only have one berry bush. Um, and I think you can get two thingies to farm it, but uh, it's not ideal. One tax collector. Let's go. All right. So I think they're actually done now. They're actually done. And now we can uh, build a bailiff's office off to the side. Whoops. Build a bailiff's office. I wonder if we can put a tower as a bailiff's office. Probably. Does this count? Room? Yeah, it sure does. And they do need a door. So let's build them a door. Then we only have one kind of door. So we'll build a door off to the side, maybe. Make it look interesting. And we can put on some some banners here. These are weird with the snapping. Like, I know that they fit, but they don't want to stick. I don't get it. I don't... It's like... I know they're supposed to hang from the second floor, these these banners, but it's just like not not happening today. Oh, here we can put one. Yay. Okay, these are 50 gold a piece, so I'm just going to build one for now, I think. Oh, as it is, it's expensive. It's, um, oh, actually 50 gold. Okay. We can assign a bailiff. Soldier training speed, trade prices, bonus of 10% from village with clergy, kingdom, and labor allegiance. Okay, cool. Job learning speed is increased. Let's do the trade price bonus, I think. That'll save us some money. Hello. Grandiose market. The elders feel your village is almost ready to host a trading fair. However, they are uneasy to receive visitors with such a market. They would like you to improve its appearance. A few colorful tents wouldn't hurt business, would it? Um, I, yeah, it's a nice thing. I'm glad we don't have a time uh, limit because the problem is that we, I think we can build the colorful, oh yeah, we got our decorations here. Um, let's see if we, I think we can do, can we do this thing? Okay, let's just click the market stalls court. And if we, can we build onto this? I think we can, right? I love these colorful tents. They're very cool. But they require some amount of cloth, which we don't have. We can build, like, provision barrels as well. Um, things like this, just to kind of, you know, add some spice. Food stalls? Sure. Uh, okay. So that's going to give us five, which is kind of what they want. But we can't build this yet. That's going to cost us 125 and it's going to cost us cloth, which we don't have the tech for yet. So we need to... Oh, this is done. Yay. Very yay. This is nice. Okay, great. So now we're in a position to, yeah, have a really, really good start for the game here. Um, uh, note that we have not actually set these going, so they're not going to get built, but I want to get, I want to unlock the, um, where is it? I think it's in the common path. Clothing. That's what I want to unlock. We need 20 stars for that though. And we're going to have to try to kind of get that up and working, uh, probably increasing some kind of beautification, maybe. Uh, that kind of thing. Let's see the advice that we can hear. Uh, okay, building a monastery. Both monks and nuns? Or um, or just one? I think I want to choose just one because there's a thing for doing like... Um, you have to have ten of a certain... Of, of either one to get ahead of the monastery and that kind of thing. Let's do monks. I like monks. Uh, mandating the bailiff. Let's have a bailiff. Alright, we'll continue because we already hired a bailiff, I think. So, mandates, new advice. Increase taxation. Yeah, we already did that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and then the mandates here, we can gain influence with the one estate. We can revise an edict, uh, which basically, we don't have any edicts yet. We probably need to get one. We just need to research one. 
Uh, and then prospect a mineral deposit in the area. That's basically like looking at these rocks and seeing what they are. Because you can see from here that there are different mineral deposits around. That's pretty cool. So uh, anyway, that is a really good start for our village. I'm really happy with our progress today. Um, but this is going to have to be the end of the episode because we've run out of time. So I hope you have enjoyed this, uh, this start in our little village. Looks amazing. And, um, so, uh, check out the game. It's on Steam. Just follow the link in the description or get there. However, I'm, I don't have a tracking link or anything. So, um, I don't think I do. Wait, I have to ask you about that. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, um, yeah. So we're going to keep on continuing and playing and seeing if we can get a monastery up and running. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty fun. This is a great game. Check it out. Again, I've really liked it for years and I'm so glad that, uh, the devs sponsored this stream or not stream, but video. And, uh, yeah, I look forward to playing more. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.